And the other one I'll just mention briefly here, uh, if there's one thing I could be an expert at, it would be finding these ways around these problems. Uh, when I opened, I talked about fa being faced with the choice that, you know, it looked like I could either stay the course with my family farm and accept this very slow progress, maybe we'd be regenerative, regenerative when I'm 80 at that speed, or go through the very hard, almost impossible work, it seemed, of going out on my own and trying to do something among all the other things, especially if I'm not willing to completely leave the family operation. So life presents us a lot of times with decisions that appear to be an either-or choice, and I'm just here to say that it's not that way. And when we can find those things, some of these situations are stressful. I've lost a lot of sleep over more urgent problems, but when that solution arrives, it can be like a weight off your shoulder. So if we can step back sometimes, we, we can see that. So once again, the, the question, how do I do more of this on my land? And through using a systems approach, I now have a plan where I can come back and do more of this stuff. And the thing with the system, with this approach, is you have to—it's a continuing process. You always need to look at what your current constraints are. Some are like hurdles; you might jump over it, and then then it's done. But others are going to stay with us for a while. Uh, just a little quote here by Bill Mollison.